okay students so today the topic today the topic of discussion will be spondylolysis and spondylolisthesis first of all you all should be very clear about the terminology spondylolysis and spondylolisthesis what does lysis and what does listhesis mean now lysis lysis spondylolysis means there is some break or there is some defect that is there is lysis of the pars interarticularis pars interarticularis whereas listhesis means there is any displacement or shift of the vertebral body over one another due to the defect due to the defect in the pars interarticularis if there is a shift in the vertebral body over one another then that is called as spondylolisthesis so now if you see this x ray this is x ray lumbar spine this is x ray lumbosacral that is ls because you have these vertebrae are lumbar and here you have the sacrum which is starting so you this is an x ray ls spine lateral view so if you see on a lateral view of x ray lumbar spine what are you able to see this is sacrum this is l5 this is l4 this is l3 this is l2 now what you can see is that in the l4 vertebrae this is a pars interarticularis is a part which connects the superior and the inferior articular facet of a vertebrae so here you can see that there is a gap this is a gap in the pars interarticularis so this defect or this gap or break in the pars interarticularis is the spondylolysis component because of which you can definitely see that if you see if you start from the inferior aspect you can see that definitely this l4 vertebrae has moved anteriorly over l5 vertebrae so because of the defect that is spondylolysis in the pars interarticularis there is anterior shift of l4 over l5 so there is spondylolisthesis so for comparison you can see that see this pars interarticularis this is l2 superior so they could basically this is a pars interarticularis of l2 this is l3 so this pars interarticularis component of these vertebrae are intact but see these are intact there is no fracture there is no break here but see this there is a fracture or a break or a defect or a lysis now once we have seen x ray ls spine if you see a spondylolisthesis or lysis of an x ray ls spine in lateral view but remember the best view to visualize the best view to visualize the best view to visualize spondylolysis or lysthesis is x ray spine oblique view if you take an oblique view of the spine this is the best view let us see how does a normal oblique view of a spine look like this is an annotated x ray but i will explain it on a plain x ray oblique view so this is a plain x ray spine this is x ray spine ls spine that is lumbosacral spine oblique view now just see this x ray what are you able to see you are i'll just take another color just see can you see if i'll mark on this this is the shape this this then go behind this 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 and this and there is an eye so now you can see on another vertebrae this is a annotated one what i have annotated is that now this same annotation is basically shown in this x ray what is important is that on a normal x ray spine oblique view you get to see this appearance of a scotty dog so this is a scotty dog appearance this scotty dog appearance is basically seen in a normal x ray oblique view so remember that this is seen in a normal x ray so if you know a normal oblique view x ray spine you will be able to look at abnormal also so now what are this scotty dog formed of see this part that is the nose part is formed from the transverse process the eye of the dog is formed from the pedicle the ear is formed from the superior articular facet the first or the 
the front leg is formed from the inferior articular facet this is important and the two thing that is superior articular facet ear and the front leg that is inferior articular facet these two facets are being joined by the two facets of the same vertebrae are joined by the pars interarticularis so this neck part is the pars interarticularis if there is any defect in this part of the pars interarticularis this will form spondylolisthesis so now we can see a comparison between x-ray lateral view oblique view normal and abnormal just see this is oblique x-rays normal and abnormal this is x-ray lateral uh, view lateral view of the lumbar sacral spine just see that these pars interarticular superior articular facet inferior articular facet pars interarticularis normal superior articular facet inferior articular facet pars interarticularis normal but see this at l5 this is l5 this is sacrum so in l5 you can see there is definitely a defect or there is a fracture in the pars interarticularis so there is a spondylolysis in l5 level in the lateral x-ray ls spine whereas you can see an oblique so this is a normal oblique x-ray you can see the very well formed scotty dog appearance that is superior articular facet ear the inferior articular facet the front leg and the neck is formed from the pars interarticularis and this is intact but if you see this x-ray there is a defect can you make out this is a defect in the neck region so this is spondylolisthesis so this is an x-ray of spondylo Listhesis. So now remember that in a normal x-ray you have Scotty dog appearance but in an x-ray of spondylolisthesis you have a beheaded Scotty dog or terrier sign because the head is now separated from the body because the neck is being fractured so this is appearance called as beheaded scotty dog in spondylolisthesis okay so continuing with the spondylolysis and listhesis we can see this is an x-ray lumbosacral spine lateral view now what are you able to see in this see this is the last rib coming out so this will be probably your d12 then this will be l1 l2 l3 l4 and l5 and this is your sacrum so what are you seeing in this x-ray you can clearly see you can clearly see that this l5 though very clearly you are not able to see the pars interarticularis in this as i've already told you that the best x-ray to view it is oblique view so you're not able to clearly see the defect in the pars interarticularis but you are able to see that there is a severe shift of L5 over sacrum or S1. L5 has come and the entire spine, if you see from this line, if you draw a line here, what has happened is the L5 and the entire spine over it is shifted anteriorly over sacrum. So this is a spondylolisthesis. This is spondylolisthesis of L5 over S1. Now, this, remember that if there is a severe shift, if there is a severe anterior movement or anterior shift or anterior displacement of L5 over S1, the next thing you see is you should see that whether this anterior shift is caused because of the break in the pars interarticularis only of left side or it could be of right side or it could be of both. Most commonly, what happens is the bilateral pars interarticularis undergo break in L5 level because of stress, because of uh, overstress in cases of degenerative spine or in cases of trauma or in cases of excessive stress. So what happens is if there is a bilateral pars interarticularis break, then the L5 vertebrae is so much shifted anteriorly over S1 that it gives you a typical appearance that is to be seen on a frontal or an AP radiograph. Let us see that x-ray. This is a front. Now this is basically a frontal or this is an AP view. That is anterior posterior view of the lumbosacral spine. 
Now what happened is if we are seeing a severe anterior shift of L5 over S1 in a lateral view or in an oblique view, what we should do is we should basically take a frontal X-ray or an AP radiograph of the LS spine to see how is the shift of L5 over S1. Now if there is so much of shift that means what will happen is L5 has come over S1 and so this will basically be giving you such an appearance. So this basically appearance is L5 has come over S1. So this basically this is the dome and this is the brim. This is the dome and this is the brim of. So this appearance that L5 has come over S1 in cases of bilateral pars interarticularis break, this is giving you an appearance of a Napoleon hat. This is a characteristic appearance of Napoleon hat. So this is a appearance is inverted. Napoleon hat appearance is seen in it is seen in severe or it is seen in spondylolysis with spondylolisthesis. So this is seen in spondylolysis with spondylolisthesis of L5 over S1. So this is appearance. Now dome will be formed by the body of L5. This brim part is basically formed by the two transverse processes, the transverse processes of L5. So this is important altogether about spondylolysis and spondylolisthesis that you should know the first x-ray we order is x-ray lateral view but the best x-ray is oblique on a normal oblique the scotty dog sign the scotty dog sign is seen on a normal oblique x-ray while if it is abnormal if it is abnormal, that means if there is a lysis in the pars interarticularis, you will have a beheaded Scotty dog sign. These are the important things to be remembered in this topic.